what happens in the big brother diary room hi i'm claire i was on big brother 23 let me tell you everything there is to know about the diary rooms and some information about diary room sessions first big misconception about the diary room is that there's a person in there or there's a screen in there neither of those things are true the only things in the diary room are the chair that you see them sitting on and a camera yes that does mean when we are telling julie oh my gosh you look so beautiful we're not seeing her actually up there you are hearing her voice you do see julie when you're in the living room before you go and vote there's also a box of tissues sitting behind the couch as well as like a mirror a comb a little bit of powder that's it when you go into the diary room, they call you over the loudspeaker in the house and they say, Claire, please go to the diary room. And that's your sign. Okay, let me maybe put on a little bit of blush or like brush my hair. There are a bunch of different people that you talk to in the diary room. And those people are story producers. My understanding are there are different producers for each episode and then kind of a mix of different producers throughout the season. If you're talking about a competition, you do have to be wearing the outfit that you wore in that competition due to continuity. So you could get called into the diary room like 2 a.m. the night of veto and have to get changed back into your veto clothes and go to the diary room to give your confessionals. And then you also have to go in for like strategy talks. The diary room might call you in and they'll ask you, oh, you had this conversation with Tiffany. What were your thoughts on that? You can also talk about whatever you want. At the end of every diary room session, they always ask, is there anything else you wanna talk about? But a lot of times I think they kind of have an understanding of what's happening in the game. They're watching live feeds 24 seven and can piece together a narrative and figure out like, okay, I need to get Claire's thoughts on the strategy of this, or, hey, this person just told you you're going on the block. What are you thinking? So they'll ask you questions that are related to what's happening in the game, but then they'll also ask you questions to maybe throw you off a little bit. Can't fully believe anything they're saying, or you might try to think that they're hinting in the diary room. Diary room sessions can really vary from like 15 minutes to an hour if you're HOH or you won veto. Obviously, you're playing a bigger part in the episode, so you're gonna be in there longer. One other thing I wanna talk about, two people in the diary room. We all know all the iconic two-person confessionals of years past. They do not let you do that. Maybe if you have a two winner veto situation, you can both go in there, but they do not want people in there. Even if you're like, we're so funny though, like we're like a final two, like let us in. They won't do it. Otherwise, you really only go to the DR if you're called. Um, you can buzz in to go to the DR, but it's not like a, someone's always sitting there. Buzz in, they have to like, flag down a producer and get a producer to come and talk to you and be like, hey, what's up? Don't really just, give confessionals willy-nilly. They'll call you at a regular enough cadence that like you can talk about everything that's going on in the game. You also can go in the DR to request stuff. Or just like if you're having a hard time, you can go in and ask to talk to like a doctor or talk to a therapist too. If you have any other questions about Big Brother, the Diary Room, Amazing Race, whatever, uh, let me know in the comments. Finally, Diary Rooms are not scripted. Maybe they'll give you a little bit of prompting if it's like a competition, like there's only so many things you can say, but, Everything else is all you.